Hello everybody, and today I'm talking about the RCC block list. So of course, the RCC block list is a recent event, and there has been some of the past, but today we're just going to be discussing it, and how, in my opinion, it's like, really dumb, and inside of the past there has been more, but this one, in my opinion, is kind of special, for a lot of reasons. So, of course, if you guys are interested in this subject, and want me to discuss more stuff like it, then go ahead and like the video, because I discuss more stuff like this every other day. Of course, without further do let's go ahead and get into this video so for the people who don't already know what a block list is it's basically where there's this website and it's called a block now on this website you can make block lists and other people can subscribe to it and a block list is basically where you put all these people into a list and when people subscribe they all get blocked now of course to enter the subscribe list you of course have to sign into your twitter account etc whatever you do to do that everybody on that list and everybody who gets added to that list will be blocked on your account now because of the website and this being a thing there has been twitter accounts specifically created in order to make a block list and make it so people subscribe to it now of course a normal person wouldn't just immediately subscribe to a block list so basically all these people get to do to subscribe is by saying they'll block all toxic people and bad people inside of the rtc to avoid them and to make sure your timeline is looking sparkly clean from drama now for the average twitter user or the average rtc member that looks pretty cool you know all toxic Toxicity will be removed from your timeline. However, there's always some kind of dark side to all these block lists about the RTC. Now, of course, the dark side to the last RTC block list that is now, I'm pretty sure, suspended was it would completely blacklist people like YouTubers, and if you like any of their tweets, they would then block you. So, really, they would just block random people. Say you liked one of Nathrix's tweets, or you liked one of Kano Kin's tweets. They would just put you on the block list, and then you would randomly get blocked by a ton of people. Now, they didn't even do this by hand. They obviously did it by bots. So, these bots would just go in and put all these random people on the block list that literally did nothing wrong, except just like a random tweet, and it was really bad. And, of course, people who run these accounts do not disclose their real identity, and when they do disclose their real identity, usually it just gets leaked. So, basically, the people who make these block list accounts aren't good people. They are people who have a vendetta and a vengeance against certain people, like, for instance, Nathrix and why they blacklisted him and anybody who subscribes to this block list would automatically block Nathrix and everybody associated with him and everybody who likes his tweets. And sometimes the owner of these block list accounts would even use the block list to blackmail people because imagine you just waking up and someone telling you, hey, a thousand people who are subscribed to my block list will block you if you don't do this for me or because you did this. It's just really sad and all these block lists are actually really the toxic part of the RTC instead of the actual people who are just participating inside of liking tweets. Now, it really seems like every day that there is a new RTC block list made, and of course, people don't subscribe to them. However, recently, there has been one made, and people have publicized this, and people are actually subscribing to it, which is one of the reasons I'm actually making this video. Now, this block list has over 5,500 people blocked, so you can really see that they literally have the entire RTC blocked. So, it would be really easy for them to threaten, hey, I have so many people subscribed to my block list, and... I'm gonna make them all block you if you don't do this. So like all RTC block lists, they have a reason. Now their reason is we are the RTC block list blocking toxic people in the RTC to help avoid them. Blockchain in use. Please DM us if you believe your block was a mistake. Now of course they say blocking toxic people in the RTC to help avoid them. The thing is, is if you actually want to block somebody, you should block them yourself instead of having to rely on somebody else that you have no idea who is because this guy has gotten outed for being a predator and it's really just sad because you never really know who's behind these RTC block lists, so think twice before you use one of these. And in my opinion, I wouldn't use them at all. Now, of course, they say DM us if you think your block was a mistake. Now, it's kind of hard to DM you when I'm blocked, but, you know, I guess I could use an alternate account. In the end, I don't really care that I'm on this block list, as you probably are on this block list too if you do have a Twitter account and are into the RTC, because they really, over 5,000 people, they really blocked everyone at this point. Even people who rarely have any drama surrounding them, like like Flamingo, for instance, are even blocked. And let's just 
Let's go ahead and check out the reason they blocked Flamingo. Here it is. It says, block Albert stuff, which is also Flamingo, but his ad is just Albert stuff. And it says, reason, mass child manipulation and teaching children of our community inappropriate manners. That has to be the funniest reason I've ever seen. Because literally, Flamingo does none of these things at all. I don't recount any times that Flamingo has mass child manipulated his audience and I guess he kind of does teach them inappropriate manners because they do go around you know trolling people but that's just about it it's just light-hearted fun and I highly doubt he's brainwashing children but maybe in the end Flamingo does want to take over the world by mass manipulating children across the world but believe it or not there's something more dark than that and he actually blocked Creepcraft for the reason of being a predator shown in videos that's the dumbest reason I've ever seen I've literally never seen Creepcraft do that at all not to mention I'm pretty sure he has a wife Plus, this dude gave absolutely no proof or evidence of any sort, and of course, nobody believed him, hopefully, and basically all he did was slander Creecraft. So our final huge YouTuber block was My Year's Name's This. Now get this, he blocked My Year's Name's This for, has accusations of scamming viewers out of money, currently holding a money laundering scheme. Now, he actually accuses My Year's Name's This of having an entire money laundering scheme, which is basically where you clean money and you basically make it into legal money that was once illegal money that could have been from robbing a bank. So really, I don't think My Year's Name's This is robbing any real banks and not the ones in jailbreak, and I definitely do not think Maya's name says is holding a money laundering scheme. But in the end, this did get suspended, but after it got suspended, it shortly got unsuspended, which is kind of sad because really never subscribe to these block lists. They all are fake and just block people yourself if you want to block people. Personally, I don't even block people just because I don't see the point to it when you can just mute them. But yeah, don't subscribe to these block lists because you have no idea who's behind them and usually they don't really have good intentions. Anyways, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Maybe you guys like the video so more people can see it and know not to subscribe to these idiot block lists that really just block people for no reason. Anyways, yeah, make sure you guys comment below your opinion on the situation and do you think block lists should be just banned from Twitter entirely or do you think they serve a good purpose and what's your opinion of the RTC block list right now? And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter down below and join my Discord because that's the best way to reach me. And yeah, like the video and... Goodbye. Got my eyes on a computer screen, trying to work my digits in. I fidget with my lettering, but never with my sentences. I pause and check the clock, and it appears it's 6 a.m. again. Another night wasted, or another day finished, and my mind is steady running in place. I don't want to fall asleep, because I got so much to say. But I don't want to stay awake and keep exhaustion at me.